Welcome to Daily Conversation. This is Mr. K. This is Eric. Yeah, today is the 5th of April 2021 and the time now is 6.15 a.m. Well, today our topic is, oh uh, yeah, it's a video review. It's about bubble and everyone wants to get rich quickly. So before we get started, please click the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel. All right, so here we go. Yep. Um, yeah, for this uh, video, and then uh, firstly, because I, uh, <laughs> I don't know the guy, the speaker, uh, which is Navo Ravikant. Yeah, and after that, I, uh, after I watched the video, I try to do a quick search uh, for this guy. And then uh, he is an investor. And uh, he invests in quite a lot of companies. Uh, it's around more than 200, uh, which is wow. stated in Wikipedia, including uh, Twitter and Uber. Yeah, and then uh, what makes him, uh, I think, uh, what, what's different from uh, others is that uh, he is an, uh, uh, the Wikipedia used the word early, uh, in early time, it is like an early investor. So uh, uh, I think that means that he, uh, he invests into those uh, potential stocks uh, uh, in, in the early time before uh, the stock really uh, the, the stock price really uh, goes up a lot mm. yeah so um, uh, so for this guy uh, actually I think um, uh, um, I, I I don't know I find it quite uh, uh, familiar between uh, uh, what we have discussed and then uh, uh, and and this one and this video. So, uh, have you watched this video before? Uh, what video? Uh, yeah, uh, the video review today. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Because this video uh, is a video I shared to you, is it? Yeah, but um, I feel like uh, uh, in, in in our previous conversation, uh, oh, no. a few weeks or a few months ago. No, no, no. no. Oh wow! <laughs> so uh, it seems like um, uh, many of the things you uh, you did mention before, like uh, being long term, uh, uh, being a long term investor, and then uh, easier, uh, uh, less stressful, easier to sleep. Yes, uh, yeah. So I I find it uh, uh, very familiar. Mm. <laughs> yep, and then. Uh, also, uh, the speaker mentioned about the word gambling, gambling, uh, which you also mentioned, uh, mentioned it. I think is uh, a few weeks ago. Mm. Yep. So, um, um, yeah, and then uh, uh, yeah, there is one uh, one words in the video which is called the bubble. Yeah, and then um. Um, yeah, and also uh, he mentioned that bubble is something uh, kind of unpredictable, and even when it is coming, then uh, it is quite hard to react and response um, uh, in, in the correct timing. Yeah, so um, um, yeah, for for th for this Bitcoin. <coughs> Um. Ah, yeah. Uh, actually, mm. this uh, uh, mm, okay. Uh, the reason I share this video is it's not it's not about the cryptocurrency. It's actually about the bubble. Oh, <laughs> the bubble. Mm. Uh, yeah. Uh, but never mind. If you want to talk Bitcoin, it's okay. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> yep. So uh, yeah. Actually, um. Uh, yeah, I, I don't have much things to to talk about. Yeah, maybe I can uh, um, 
uh, hear your sharing and then uh, uh, discuss a little bit. Mm, okay. Uh, uh, the reason why I share this video is because uh, it is so true. Yeah. Uh, all, uh, all he's talking is just, uh, it just, we say like the fact, yeah, like the fact. And this is, and you also can say this is common sense, but his speaking way is, is too straight. Yeah, it's too straight. Mm. Mm. And, and all the sentence can, uh, can hit my mind. Yeah, how say, uh, uh, can mm, all the sentence can hit my mind or hit my heart? Mm. Yeah, because mm. everything he says is, is 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 so direct. Mm. Mm. And one, uh, one of, uh, uh, <clears throat> uh, one of the thing he share, <clears throat> and it is also uh, uh. More, most critical, yeah, most critical sharing of him in this video. I think it's about the bubble. Mm. Yeah. And he, he said, yeah, uh, in this video, there is another person ask him, yeah, do you think uh, like cryptocurrency will, will experience bubble just like the 2017 or 2018? Mm. And and he said, yeah, uh, I don't know, because uh, especially for 2020, we, we all are in a bubble. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, it's yeah. so true. Mm, in 2020, and, and also now 2021, and you see the SP500, it hit, new time, uh, it, it hit all time high. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Close, uh, close 4,000. So uh, yeah, we, mm, all the market, stock market, bond market, uh, and cryptocurrency market and real estate market, we all are in the bubble. Mm. Mm. Yeah. And and he also say actually we we all like bubble. <laughs> yeah. And he gave one example. Yeah. Uh, he say he experienced the main mm, three biggest bubble in in his in life. His life. Mm. Yeah, in his. It, yeah, over his life. Yeah. So the first one is the 1919. Uh, sorry, uh, 1999. Yeah, the internet bubble. Yeah. Mm, internet company bubble. And, and he can't, uh, he can't grab the opportunity. Mm. He don't even aware there is a bubble. <laughs> yeah, because, uh, maybe he haven't start to do investment or maybe, uh, he didn't invest much. Okay. And mm. then he said, yeah, oh God. Yeah, give me a, uh, give me one more bubble. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then, yeah, and then we have, uh, and then he said, yeah, we have another bubble, which is the cryptocurrency bubble, 2017, 2018. Yeah, mm. and he yeah. also can, uh, he also can get it. <laughs> yeah, he also, uh, maybe he, uh, he haven't entered the market and the market start to run. Mm. And mm. he also like missed the bubble and, and he's, and he won. And he say one again, yeah. Oh God, give me one more. Yeah, just one more bubble. Mm. Yeah, so this is so true, yeah. you know. Mm. Mm. And then he, he say, yeah, now cryptocurrency, we are in a bubble. And, and not only cryptocurrency, all the market in the world, all the financial market in the world are in bubble. Mm. Mm. Then, but, uh, uh, what should I do? He said he don't know. Yeah, even though he is in a bubble, but he don't know uh, what to do because it seems like uh not obvious. Yeah, it seems like if if you are in a bubble, if you are really in a bubble, and it's it's just not so obvious to see. Yeah, for example, mm. uh, yeah. Uh, for example, uh, there's two person, there's two person, and one person, A, yeah, didn't do any investment, and B, have done some investment. 
in, yeah. in a bubble set. Uh, and then B will have some feeling. Yeah. Uh, and he feel happy because he earned money and he also want to earn more. And A didn't aware. Yeah. And A yeah. will just uh saw the uh saw the stock price wow rise so high. Mm. Uh, so and then A don't want to do investment because the the stock price is so high. Yeah. Mm. And then when the uh, uh when the bubble bust and then A will say yeah luckily I didn't do investment. Mm. Yeah. And B B may lose money. Mm. And some M M a uh, minority of B. Yeah. Minority of B will earn a lot of money, mm. but, uh, but majority of B will lose a lot of money. Mm. So we all like bubble, yeah, because only only uh, we can get a bubble. Uh, we can increase our well, we can increase our net worth mm. uh, very fast. Yeah, yeah, uh, in a short time. Otherwise, maybe you need to wait like 20 years, 30 years or 40 years. Mm. Yeah. But, yep, we, um, but all of us mm. also hate bubble. Mm. Yeah, all of us also hate bubble. Because mm. when we are in bubble, yeah, when we are in a bubble, we don't know when to sell. We don't know when to buy. Yeah, we don't know whether uh, we should continue to buy or whether uh, we should sell. Uh, if we sell, we may sell too early. If we, uh, if we hold or if we continue to buy, it may yeah. crash. Mm. And for those people who want to do investment, but they haven't entered the market, yeah, uh, they don't like bubble because they haven't entered the market. <laughs> mm. yeah. So that bubble is not something bad. Mm. Because we all hope we are in the game when the bubble getting bigger. And at yeah. the same time, we are afraid of bubble burst. And we are still in the game. Mm. Mm. Yeah, uh, just now what you want to say? Um, yeah, because uh, um, I'm... I'm not good at investment, so uh, for this bubble, you say uh, uh, is is good to uh to invest there because we can have the chance to uh to make money. So um, uh, do you mean that uh to to earn money from a bubble, we need to invest in the earlier time? Uh, uh is it like this? Hmm. Yeah. Uh, of course, if, if investment is something like if you do earlier, and then your, uh, your gaining will be uh, will be greater than other people who did later than you. This mm -hmm. this is very obvious, right? For example, yeah. like those company like Google, Amazon, Facebook, uh, Tencent, all that, uh, uh all that stock. Mm. Also, yeah, I also wrote one article which is uh, a which contains six company if you buy the six company as a portfolio yeah and over 10 years 2000 2001 uh, sorry uh, 2010 2010 to 2020 yeah 2020 and then your your annualized returns is like a uh, 20 plus percent and your total returns total returns uh is about like uh 1200 percent so it's 12 times in 10 years time so it's uh more than uh your network you uh your network average increase more than one time yeah so more than one times in a year, uh, yeah. Mm. So that they, there's a great returns, you know, yeah, there's a great returns. 
one year one times, ten year ten times, and this is ten uh ten years more than ten times. Mm. Mm, yeah. So that uh, but but if but if you keep continue invest in that portfolio, um, I won't say you uh you won't earn money. You you probably still will earn money, but maybe not twelve times. Mm, mm. Maybe for ten years is maybe one point two times only. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, so uh uh yeah, I still don't get uh what you trying to ask. So uh just want to ask about bubble, right? Mm, yeah. Yeah, so uh what is your definition of bubble or what is your understanding about bubble? Um okay for uh to me bubble is like some uh uh a particular stock or maybe even the uh the whole market, the price uh, of the stock goes up a lot and then uh, in a short time and then uh, uh, keep rising uh, uh, um, for a period of time and then uh, uh, much higher than usual and then uh, um, yeah, the, the price uh, will start to drop after uh, uh uh um uh after some time and it is like um uh yeah i'm not sure whether this is because the the fundamental performance of uh all these stocks uh uh didn't support the real stock price so uh uh this is something like uh naturally it will it will fall after some time mm. and uh, and you saw some, um, and you say something that unpredictable because you say, yeah, and when the stock price rise and then fall a lot, okay, then we call this is bubble. Mm. So before it drop, how can you know this is a bubble? Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. We couldn't so, do. yeah, so uh, uh, if this is the guidance, then uh, the bubble terms to you is uh 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 nothing yeah nothing mm. more than mm, talking yeah, so yeah that's, it's very vague and uh couldn't be identified mm. and also is uh the idea uh this idea uh, cannot be uh, uh this idea is an actionable idea mm. Mm. only know it yeah. after after i saw it first <laughs> Mm, uh, but this but this is actually uh the most appropriate uh terms yeah for bubble yeah because uh if the stock price keep rising and then it it didn't drop it didn't drop uh back uh back to its original level then mm. how can we say this is bubble right mm. <laughs> yeah yeah mm. yeah uh but if you saw bitcoin like two thousand seventeen two thousand eighteen Mm, do you think the person who buy in, uh, let's say, like 2016, will earn money even though the Bitcoin price crash? Um, so oh, one yeah. year before, uh, one year before the quote unquote real bubble comes. Mm. Mm, so for for this, uh, you can very you can very easily to to check the price. For example, Bitcoin price, average Bitcoin price in uh in uh in twenty sixteen. Yeah, so so one years before the bubble, and then uh if you buy the Bitcoin in twenty sixteen, and then you're only able to sell after the market crash. So let's say you sell in uh uh. Uh, 2018 or 2019. Yeah. Mm. So can you can you earn money from that? Uh, not much, right? Yeah, but you still can earn money, right? Mm -mm, yeah. Mm. Yeah. Uh, okay. Based on my research, mm, the Bitcoin price is uh, around eight hundred. 
around 800 uh, uh, in 2016. Okay. Okay. And then, okay, wait a minute. Yeah, uh, yeah, uh, around uh, 400 to 800 in 2016. And in 2018, yeah, the, the all time time is around 20K. And then yeah. the lowest point is about, um, is, is around 1000. This is the lowest, lowest point. So if you if you buy in the average uh, price in 2016, so it's not the lowest price in 2016. And you sell at the, you you buy at the average price in twenty sixteen, and you so unlucky you can only sell uh, the lowest price in twenty eighteen to twenty nineteen, which is yeah. around one thousand. Yeah. So how much you can earn? You still can earn money, you know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And 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 this is like two years returns. And let's say from from six hundred. Uh, just now we we uh we talk eight hundred, right? Yeah. Yeah, uh, if 800 to 1000 is 20%, so 20% if you split into one or two years, the return is still, <laughs> the return is still better than gold. <laughs> mm, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and also better, uh, the performance is better than most of the investor, even though the bubble, the quote unquote, the bubble bust. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, if okay, uh, if you look at if you look at some growth stock, hmm, some growth stock, for example, like Tesla, uh, Apple, Amazon, Google, yeah. Uh, uh, for Amazon, for Amazon, uh, its stock price, uh, dropped from, uh, in, uh, in my, in my knowledge, is from hundred drop. Uh, drop to around one one dollar. Yeah. Oh, for, uh, which, it, for which one? Uh, Amazon, Amazon in nineteen. Okay. In nineteen ninety nine. Yeah, the internet bubble. Yeah, but it eventually rise back. Mm. Yeah, of course. Uh, the Amazon. Uh, spent a lot of years to recover the stock price. Yeah, but be yeah, but but the reason also because uh. In 1919, Amazon don't have, uh, don't have, uh, something like, uh, like the network, yeah, like the network that, uh, that is, uh, that is obvious, yeah, that's obvious to see, yeah, unlike, like the Facebook, yeah, once we, um, when Facebook goes IPO, we all pretty sure that, yeah. Facebook already control the social media network. So Amazon is not the case. Yeah, Amazon only start to control the e-retail network maybe in 2005 or 2006. Yeah, mm. so in, in, in 2000, in 1999, it is not obvious. It is not obvious that Amazon uh, uh, can be the monopoly of this e-retail network. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. For far, uh, but for some others, growth stock like Google, Netflix, mm, Apple, Tencent, yeah, all that. This is too obvious to see, right? Hmm. Yep. Yeah. Because like Google, <laughs> so, uh, you use the product every day. Facebook, you also use the product every day, and mm. you and you see the user grow and. You use Facebook, you use Google when it is in early stage, and then you keep using and you see the improvement. Yeah. So that uh, you can pretty sure that there are more and more people will only use Facebook or use Google. Hmm. Yeah. So that uh, uh, the network effect is 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 very obvious to see. Hmm. And then for mm. this kind of company, uh, yeah. Uh, there is a bubble. Yeah, it definitely. Uh, de definitely have some bubble because if you if you look at the PE ratio, the PE ratio is quite high. 
mm. like yeah. 30 times or 40 times. Yeah, you can say this is a bubble. Mm. But actually, this uh, this is just because uh, the view from different time frame. For example, the investor, maybe the expert, look at this stock because this stock is very uh, is very valuable. Yeah, it's a uh, uh, one of the most valuable company in the world, like Google, Amazon, uh. Facebook, Apple, uh, mm. they are not going away. Mm. So, uh, they, yeah, because this is the most valuable company, so they value them uh, from, uh, uh, by using a very, very long time frame. For example, like 40 years or 50 years time frame, or maybe 10 or 20 years time frame. So they look at their earning power. Yeah. The earning power will keep increasing, still increasing, and then, uh, so that they they buy in now, okay, and then they buy in they buy in now, and then their target price is uh is quite high. But this is ten years. Uh, this is the this is a uh, the price. Yeah, this is the price. The target price maybe is a price. Uh, after ten years, so that mm. so that means the the target price is calculated by using 10 years time frame. Mm. So it is high. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. So if you say, yeah, the target price is, uh, uh, is less than the current stock price. So you say there is a bubble. Uh, you can say this, but if but uh, what is what is your time frame? Yeah. What is your time frame? Five years, ten years, twenty years. Mm. So the time frames matter. Mm. If the if you change your time frame, okay, if you change your time frame, then uh they may not have bubble. They still have some growth, but uh, uh I mean uh, uh you still can expect you still can expect the price keep rising. Uh but the space is not is not so great already. You get what I mean? Um it is like uh yeah I I don't think I understand um but to uh to me it's like um if we look into long into the long term and then uh uh let's say we start we start uh we start in the year of twenty ten and then look at twenty twenty uh uh it is it is a growth uh no matter uh whether they are bubble inside these ten years is it like this uh no. Uh, uh, this is the explanation I use uh, mm, to explain, yeah, to explain, uh, uh, to explain this company have, uh, have, a, uh, have a high growth rate stage, okay, and, but, but, uh, but whether they have bubble in this period, maybe yes, maybe no, mm, we don't know, we only know uh, we only know uh, there is a bubble when the stock market crash or when the particular stock crash. Yeah. Okay? And we don't know. And you see Apple, Amazon, Google, all these companies are still at a price around all time high. Mm. So uh, can we say it's bubble? Yes, we may say it's bubble. Yeah. But this company is the most valuable company in the world. So that what valuation you are using? What model you are using? Mm. For example, you use like the, uh, you use like the PE valuation. Yeah, you use, uh, you use the projectors, projector futures cash cash flow. Yeah, and discount that back to the net present value, and 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 you give a reasonable PE ratio. For example, like ten times or twenty times. Mm. Okay. Yeah, and then you calculate what is the price. So that means you you calculate how much money, how much money like Google can earn in ten years or twenty years time, and then you discount back to today's value, and then you use that value divided, uh, uh, by the expected number of share in these ten years, and then you, 
and then you can get the uh, and then you can get the earning per share and then you get the earning per share okay expect the yeah. earning per share for time for 10 years time frame and then you use that earning per share to calculate p ratio you give you give uh you give a fair p ratio for example you think 10 10 is is fair or 20 is fair yeah and current p current current p ratio like 40 or 50 is not uh, it's not reasonable, it's not fair. Yeah. But if you use 10 years time frames, cash flow, okay, expected cash flow, and then to divide it by expected number of shares, and then yeah. you get the expected uh earning per share EPS in 10 years time frame. Okay. And then you use that to calculate PE. Yeah. Uh uh, to calculate the stock price with like 10 or 20 p ratio you may see the stock price uh sorry uh, the target price the valuation the target price from the valuation is still higher than current stock price yeah even though we are at all-time high so so that means how many years yeah what is the time frame you are using to calculate the valuation to calculate target price. This is what I'm trying to say. Oh, but um, yeah, just now you mentioned a lot of uh, estimated, right? But how, how can we get the estimated figure? Yeah, only experts are able to do this. And also most of the experts, they don't do it right. <laughs> oh. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Yeah. So, okay, uh, but, uh, uh, okay, uh, but but the idea is how do you, how how do you value this company? Yeah, yeah. How do you value this company? Mm. Mm. If you think the company can grow, yeah, can can continually grow, and then uh, their revenue, their 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 net profit was will keep growing, and then so it's yeah, it's just a mathematic concept. Yeah, if there's growth rate. If this go red, and then this is greater than the discount. This 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 is greater than the discount rate. So the grow rate discount. Uh, the grow rate greater than discount rate. Yeah. Yeah, because we have one model which is called like the golden model, G O R D O N. Yeah, we learned in corporate finance. So mm -hmm. it's something like, uh, the net present. Uh, sorry. Um, uh, it's something like uh the future stock price yeah the future expected stock price uh or the current stock price yeah oh no no i yeah i think uh it's the current yeah, it's the current stock price divided by r uh, uh divided by g minus r or r minus g i forget already yeah mm. it's something like uh, yeah i think it's r minus g r means the discount rate and the g means the growth rate so if Ooh. you grow rate higher and then your valuation will be higher. Yeah, this is a mathematic. Yeah. And mm. then if you if you grow rate greater than R, yeah, greater than the discount rate, yeah. and uh the the equation is unsolved. Yeah, because it will turn to negative. Yeah. Something divided by negative. Mm. So that uh, so that uh, the stock price that uh, is uh, there's no limit. Yeah, there's no limit for that. Mm. If the stock can grow forever, can keep continue grow forever. Yeah. yeah. So that means uh, yeah, this this golden model is used to calculate uh, the perpetual value, the perpetual value of this stock. Yeah. Mm. But if we just calculate like ten years time or twenty years time. If the growth rate is high, okay. If the growth rate is keep 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 growing, the the yeah. profit is keep growing and greater than the discount rate, so that you use twenty years time data, you use ten you use twenty, uh, you use twenty years time frame, you will get a higher target price than you use ten years time frame to calculate. You get what I mean? This is a mathematical concept. It's uh, I'm not sure this is easy to understand 
but if you um, but if you understand the uh the arithmetic yeah you know what divide uh what divided by what and which number mm. yeah if what uh, if if which number increase then the whole the whole equation uh will increase yeah the value of the whole equation will increase yeah this is just mathematics mm. <clears throat> so it depends it really depends how long you see this mm. Mm. so for example maybe google apple amazon you you say this is in bubble yeah but other people say this is not in bubble so yeah if you are a another person is b and then yeah. i'm c i will ask you yeah what time frame are you using and i'll also ask b what time frame are you using and you say oh i use i use five year times i use two year times and then the b say i use 10 year times i use 20 years time then of mm. course the time frame you guys using is different so of course you cannot compare like this yeah so i will ask you yeah if you think uh in 10 years time or in 20 years time is it in bubble and then i also ask b in in two years time do you think it is in bubble maybe uh, you need to match the time frame so that you can you can you can try to understand yeah, you can try to understand whether you are talking the same thing mm. Mm. so uh is it clear now um yeah i think uh it's clearer mm. yeah so it also yeah this this is a mathematical proof concept and then it linked to another concept which is also we can say this is like the fact in the market yeah one of the fact in the market one of the law in the market mm. Mm. yeah so invest in long yeah uh do long-term investment rather than do short-term investment mm. yeah yeah if you if you apply this mathematical concept in in into this into this law you uh, you you definitely get the answer yeah why you should do long-term investment rather than do the short-term investment mm. Mm. yeah yeah and in in the video uh uh, the speaker also mentioned about uh, the judgment and the prediction for long term and for short term. Mm. Yeah, we are very difficult to predict the performance short term. Mm. And we probably will get uh, right. Yeah, we probably will guess right in long term. Yeah. Mm. Uh, not in long term, I mean uh, the long term performance. Mm. Yeah. So, um, yeah, this is quite weird, but I think this is because one of the psychology bias of human, um, because we, uh, we underestimate the performance of long term, we, we overestimate the performance in short term. Mm. Mm. Yeah. yeah, and this is also one thing uh, he shared in the video. Yeah so okay and it also remind me one thing about portfolio management so that uh yeah we may in a bubble okay yeah we may in a bubble and then in short term we don't know whether it will crash or not but in long term we're pretty sure that even if even it crash we will uh, it will back to the all-time time and keep increasing mm, this is yeah. what we know okay and then so uh what is actionable advice yeah it linked to the portfolio management don't all in don't use leverage mm. Mm. yeah don't all in that's mean because you don't put the money that you can't afford to lose into the stock market in uh, into your investment yeah. yeah so that's mean this is done all in and don't use leverage because leverage is something that like you uh you borrow money from other people and then you invest in 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 the stock market so it's the same thing yeah, if the stock market crash you lose your investment funds mm. mm. yeah 
and you don't know, you don't know when it will crash. Maybe in short term it will crash, but in long term it will back to the all time high. Mm. But if you lose your investment fund, uh, you can't, you can't enjoy, you can't enjoy, uh, the rising. Yeah. So that you totally out of the game. Mm. Yeah. yeah. So that, uh, just now I say, yeah, we all like bubble. Mm. And we also, we also hate the bubble. Yeah. We like bubble when we are in the game. <laughs> mm. And when the bubble is small and getting bigger and bigger. So we, so we can enjoy from it. Mm. Yeah. And then we, we hate bubble. Yeah. When the bubble is big already. Mm. And especially, uh, you you all in, <laughs> you all in, and you use high leverage, and then the bubble bursts, mm. mm. and then you hate bubble. <laughs> yeah, mm. yeah, really. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. If if we look at the uh the longer time frames, the stock price is not, uh, is not, uh, uh is not so high. That is because in this modern uh, economies, okay, and we try to uh, monetize, monetize their futures. Mm. We take their futures performance into current stock price already. Mm. Yeah, this is the reason. But uh, I won't say this is wrong. Yeah, because uh, yeah, because in this free market, time have. Uh, time have value, yeah. And the most valuable companies in the world, you definitely can use, uh, can take their futures performance into current stock price because everyone definitely will buy this, uh, stock. Hmm. Everyone wanted to buy the most valuable company stock. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And then you also want to buy. I also want to buy. Yeah. And. You may say, yeah, oh, yeah, the the price is right, rise a lot, but never mind. I uh uh I will still keep buying because I know ten years later it will worth more than that. And another people say, yeah, uh yeah, I don't even mind in ten years time. Yeah, I might in twenty years time because uh this fund, uh the purpose of the purpose of my my this part of investment is. Mm. For my uh, if my if for my children education, so my time frame is twenty years time. Mm. Yeah. yeah, so that yeah, so that you you look at ten years time, they look at twenty years time. Mm. Yeah. 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 <clears throat> okay, so yeah, this is the portfolio management, and also it remind me one thing that. Uh, Warren Buffett once said, "Yeah, only invest those things you understand." Hmm. Yeah, and and actually, I don't like this. I don't like this saying. Uh, oh. uh, in my early, uh, investment journey. Yeah, and why? Because I don't know. I don't know anything. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. uh, yeah. Because I, I, uh, because uh, at that time I'm like 18 years old guys, 19 years old guys. I don't have the experience. I don't have investment experience. I don't have like technology experience. I don't have any other experience. I need to yeah. learn. Yeah, I need to learn all these things. And if you say, don't invest something that you don't understand, then I, and I don't need to do investment already. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Yeah, so I don't like this. Yeah, uh, but now if uh, I I look back this sentence, this is so true. Hmm. Yeah, this is the this this is one of the best advice. Mm. But it doesn't mean that you stop learning. You 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 still need to keep learning, and then you understand what is the biggest opportunities in the world, and then you you kind of become become the expert. Yeah, you do the investments. But you, but yourself become the investment. Mm. So you, uh, uh, you may analyze a few business opportunities, 
you may analyze bills, investment opportunities, then you then you try to analyze them, you try to understand them. And then if eventually you still don't fully understand, invest less. Yeah, invest less the money. And if you if you fully understand something, then you and, and also you think, yeah, this is a great opportunity. Then yeah. you can invest more money. But also don't all in. Mm. Mm. Yeah. So uh that means you need to get the greatest conviction. Otherwise, you will eventually uh out of the game. Yeah, you won't be determined. You wouldn't you you won't hold the stock, you won't hold the we say the ticker. Yeah. Whether it is cryptocurrency or stock or real estate mm. or bond. Yeah. Or mutual fund. Yeah. You will uh you will quit the game. Yeah. If you don't really understand uh what you are investing. Yeah. Yep. And then you need to understand, you also need to get a conviction. You need to know uh this is the opportunity. And you also believe this is the opportunity. Mm. Yeah. And then we yeah, and for normal people, we actually don't don't really have enough time and energy to invest more than five ticker. Yeah. Because we need to spend our time, we need to spend our energy. To do the invest, uh, uh, to do the uh investigation, yeah, we mm. need to get the conviction, and we need to we need to study, yeah. So that we we really don't have enough time and energy to invest more than five. The first is we we cannot manage so much stock, and then at the same time, we we are not able to get the greatest commission, yeah. If we hold more than like five stock. Mm. Mm. Because you need to get the conviction from all, uh, from all the ticker you you have invested. Yeah. 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 So that <clears throat> for some people they just invest in Tesla, just one can, just one company. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I know a lot of YouTuber. Uh, they they only invest one company, which is Tesla, <laughs> oh. and they keep and they and they keep, uh, and they keep share their. Uh, share their opinion, share their idea about Tesla. So yeah, and just just about sharing of Tesla, they can yeah they can uh they can operate a YouTube channel. <laughs> so mm. for example, like uh yeah, I know one person, I know one person. The the YouTube channel called like uh uh Alan Chen, yeah Alan Chen C H E N, yeah. Uh, mm. And and this YouTuber share about Tesla, and the frequency, uh, is about three, uh one video per two days or per three days. Yeah, all his video talking about Tesla. <laughs> mm. Yeah. So <clears throat> yeah, can you see that we don't really have enough time to do the investigation and try to understand what the company is and keep follow up the state of companies. Yeah. So, hmm, eventually, uh, we may only able to hold one or two stock that you fully understand and believe through uh through the bull and bear market. So that, uh, we we can only hold like one or two ticker or stock. Hmm, and then we don't, uh, and then we don't worry. We really don't worry. Uh, if if the uh, if the bubble uh, if the bubble burst, mm. Mm. or if the if the market crash, we don't really worry that. Mm. We still can yeah. hold it, and the ability to hold is is mainly because uh how high how great commission you get. Mm. <clears throat> yeah, if you don't believe that, then the market crash you will sell, you won't hold. Yep. Yeah. Of course, we all want to sell at the highest point. Yeah, but this is uh unrealistic. Mm. So yeah. that yeah, and actually uh for normal people uh to fully to fully learn one ticker 
may cost you more than one year. Yeah. Yeah, to fully understand. And then you also need to keep follow up. <clears throat> so you say, uh, so you see, if you want to invest like five stock and you and you really want to get the full understanding, yeah, each sure. one you may you may need to you may need uh, it may cost you five it may cost you one year each yeah and, and if you if you do it together maybe it will shorter the times okay let's say you spend two years to fully understand five stock mm. Mm. and then in these two years times you you don't have the you don't have uh, a great conviction yeah. yeah because you are still learning mm. so when the market crash you may sell you may sell all your all your stock mm, that you hold yeah. Yeah, only maybe after two years time and you understand <clears throat> which stock you can do investment which stock you cannot do investment yeah maybe five stock left like three or two or maybe one or even zero <clears throat> yeah so mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah so uh so there is uh, there's a reason yeah if if you found if you found a stock uh that uh that uh that can they can give you uh a great um, a great uh investment opportunities and this is one of the biggest investment opportunities you can just invest that stock yeah if you if you really fully understand mm. we don't really need diversification mm. yeah uh, but the premise is you fully understand this and you uh, and you uh, didn't make it wrong yeah mm. yeah mm. <clears throat> And yeah, all this, yeah, if I want to make a conclusion for all this, okay, in bull market, every investor are genius. <laughs> and mm. this is one of the sentences I, uh, I saw, and this one of the sentences I, I read recently. Mm. Yeah, in bull market, every investor are genius. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Only the real investor can can pass through, yeah, can pass through the bull and bear market, mm. and mm. all this thing is, <clears throat> uh, is, uh, it's easy to say, mm. it's easy to say rather than do, mm. yeah. We know we know the theory, but <clears throat> when it comes to action, uh. We also we also want to speculate something. Yeah, you more or less you want to speculate something. Mm. Yeah. So that we, we also need to have the awareness. <clears throat> yeah, when you realize you are speculating something and you need to you need to be aware. Yeah. How much money you can lose from this speculation. Mm. Mm. Don't put too much money. Mm. Otherwise we will regret. I'm not talking uh, speculation is, is is bad because sometimes speculation can can uh, can let you earn some money so that you can put additional money into the investment yeah uh, into the real investment uh, but you you need to control the risk just like the portfolio management don't all in and for speculation don't put yeah don't also put too much money in that. Mm. For example, you can only afford to lose 100 from this speculation. And yep. your stop loss is, let's say your stop loss is like 10%. So maximum you can only put 1,000, right? Mm. Yeah. Mm. And then uh, if, uh, if the stock price drop 10%, so you lose 100. Mm. Yeah, because it's 10%. So that you, uh, you need to control your position this is portfolio management yeah and yeah it's easy to say and uh, then do okay, in bull market every investor are genius so only when the crash coming only when the bubble bust and we will on we will see yeah uh, how many 
how many people who claim that they are in they are long term investor. Yeah. So that's mean uh in a bull market, everyone say they are long term investor. Mm. <laughs> but when one but when the market crash, uh only left, yeah. Uh, only few, only few uh, are still in the market. Mm. Mm. And then you can see, yeah, these, these few people, maybe they are long-term investors, or maybe <clears throat> they've missed a chance to leave. Yeah, they missed a chance to, 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 to exist the market. Yeah, mm. so they, they are, they're forced, they quote unquote, they're forced to become a long-term investor. <laughs> <laughs> mm. yeah. yeah, so that only when the crash coming, we will see, how those people who claim that their investor relate to the crash, whether they are investor or whether they are speculator. Mm. Yeah, and we also can do the uh, uh, has some imagination, or I, I would like to say the yu yin. Yeah. Oh, prediction. Uh, uh, uh this this is not prediction. Uh, let me check the proper terms. Okay, it's something oh, like oh, it's like a rehearsal, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, or the simulation. Uh, it's quite similar. Yeah, oh. I think. Oh, oh, also we can say the preview or rehearsal. Yeah, I think the rehearsal is 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 the proper uh is appropriate terms. Yeah, mm -hmm. so that uh we try to think. If the market crash twenty percent, what sh uh, what would I do? What should sure. I do? If the market crash fifty percent, what should I do? So you plan for each, a uh, plan for each, and then so that you just uh you make a trading plan or you make a investment plan. Hello, mm. yeah, yeah, is yeah. this bad connection? Uh, I think I think it's still okay. Just a few words. Okay, mm. yeah. Uh, you make a trading plan or you make a investment plan, okay? And then you invest your plan, you trade your plan. So in Chinese, got one saying which is uh, uh, yeah. So it's like plan, plan for your trade and trade your plan. Yeah, and you can you can change the trade to investment so plan plan your investment yeah plan to invest and invest your plan mm. <coughs> mm. hello uh, ah yeah. yeah okay yeah so this is all my sharing and yeah before uh uh yeah so uh, i would like uh, uh i would like to ask one question Mm. And this is a thought experiment. We don't really need to have the answer for this. But if we have the answer, it, is, it will be great. Oh, yeah. okay. What is it? Okay. okay, so the question is, if there is a 10x opportunities, you can change this, uh, this, this times, this, this multiplier. For example, 10x or 100x, 100 mm. times or 10 times or 20 times or 50 times, you can change. Okay. okay. Uh, I rephrase the question. Okay. If there is a ten x opportunities, how much money you can earn from this quote unquote bubble cycle, mm, mm. or from these investment opportunities? Yeah. If there is ten x opportunities, how much you can earn from this opportunity? Mm. Mm. So yeah. you may look at your saving. Yeah. You may yeah. look at your much investment. You Fun. How much you can lose, right? Yeah, and also how much you can put in. How much you can lose is because uh, mm. your investment is more than uh, the money you can afford to lose. So yeah. uh, you need to keep the minimum. So it's like uh, if we try to put into formula, it's like minimum bracket and the to uh, total investment you have, uh, uh, total money you can uh, Sorry, uh, let me rephrase. Uh, mm. minimum bracket, and then uh, the money you use for investment. 
and then this is the this is the first and the second is uh the money you afford to lose so that's mm. the uh the money you can do the investment is actually the minimum of these two things yeah yeah it's the minimum so it's not the maximum it's also not the average yeah if let's say uh you can only afford to lose one thousand yeah and you got five thousand so that you can only invest one thousand yeah if you afford to lose one million and you only have one you only have five thousand you can only invest five thousand because you don't have one million mm. yeah so there's the equation there's a formula yeah and then uh and then uh, one of the most important thing is we won't we can't and also we won't invest all our saving yeah in, invest all our saving we still need to left some cash right for, yep. like emergency funds or that and then so that <clears throat> uh if you want to answer if you try if you try if you want to try to answer this question and you didn't do investment Mm, or you just start to do investment, you may uh, you may <clears throat> try to think in this way: how much money you have, yeah, how much liquid asset you have. <clears throat> that means how much saving you have, so that uh, how much <clears throat> saving <clears throat> you will put into investment. For example, thirty percent or fifty yeah. percent or ten percent, yeah, and then so that you can get the money you. You make investment. <clears throat> For example, let's say you have ten k saving, and you were only able, uh, <clears throat> uh, you will only put fifty percent of the saving in in your investment. Yeah. And then additional months, you can only get additional, like let's say two thousand saving. So every month you can get additional one thousand investment fund. Mm. So your initial capital is five thousand. And yeah. each month will increase one thousand, so it's five thousand six, seven, eight, nine, ten k, something like this. Yeah, and then if you look at your current investment fund, for example, now your current investment fund is is ten k, okay, because a uh, uh, five months pass. Okay, now mm. your investment fund have ten k, <clears throat> and then if there is a ten x opportunities, how much yeah. you can earn? Ten k. Times ten is hundred k. Yeah. yeah. So hundred k, yeah. What hundred k means to you? Yeah. This is a ten x opportunity. Yeah. There's mm -hmm. no uh so many ten x opportunities. But with ten x opportunities, you can only uh gain from ten x uh uh ten k to hundred k. Yeah. And your target, let's say your financial freedom target is like one million, so that how yeah, you at least you at least need to have hundred k, so you can grab this. Uh, you can uh be financially freedom. <clears throat> mm. Uh, from these ten x opportunities. <laughs> yeah, and then if ten x in is not enough, so how much money? Yeah, how much, uh, uh, how, uh, how many times you need for your current investment fund? Yeah, this is this is a different question. So, for example, yeah, uh, your target is one million, and now you only have like twenty k, twenty k, and then, uh, how, uh, how much time you need is fifty times, right? Mm. Yeah, yeah. So, so this is a thought experiment. Yeah, you can try to play around the figure and play around uh, the, the assumption. Yeah, so mm. that you can more understand what you are doing. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so that's all for my sharing for, yeah, that's all uh, is my sharing for today. Yeah, me too. Mm. Okay, so that's all for our today's conversations. How do you feel? Did you enjoy the conversations? Please tell us what you think of our conversations. And we are not native speakers. If you found any vocate or grammar mistakes that we made, please also comment to let us know because we want to learn more and improve ourselves. Remember to like and subscribe to us. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow.